everybody. Guess what? I got it to work. And, uh... So... I thought what I'd do is, uh... Because I kind of want to build up to the Chicago build. So you guys can see a little bit about what's going on here. This was my last year's build for Halloween. Um... It turned out pretty groovy, I think. We have a uh, place where we're selling pumpkins. And if you go in here, it's actually a movie theater. It's supposed to be. What the heck is that? That's not supposed to be there. There we go. Um, you know what? It would probably be better since this is uh, changed up a little bit. To use the black concrete. There we go. Okay. And over here is a little... Uh, Refreshment stand. I'm not going to go into all of these buildings. Uh, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of uh, this was a house that we built. This actually turned out pretty cool up here, though. A little uh, entertainment area. It's got a bar, a uh, place that you can play uh, games or watch TV. So that did turn out, and uh, bedrooms and a little library area. Nice wraparound porch. This is like a country farmhouse, or supposed to be. And, and then we have this down here now. Uh, we're going to be, re when we release the mobs, they'll come back down here. We had them down here last Halloween. Turned out pretty cool. Dance floor over there. Nice bar area. Nice little bar area here. Have some steaks on the grill. So this turned out pretty cool. You go upstairs and the living room's kind of nice. Cool living room. Nice little kitchen area. And then in here is the dining room. I'd probably be standing on the table with that noise in the basement too. Uh, china cupboard back there. So this, this home turned out pretty cool, I think, for a little country home. Um, we did a barn here. There's another country home over there, and there's a village that I built uh, actually some time ago, and then I built this around uh, that village. And uh, it's got a nice little loft. Another home here that turned out pretty cool. So this is all nice. And then you come over this way. This actually is pretty cool. I want to come in the, the front way here. Oh, and we do have a, uh, a maze here. You can walk through. Got some scary things as you come through here. It's kind of cool. So yeah, that turned out pretty cool. Um, 
Also over here, we have a witch's home. And uh, we did have witches living in here when I released the mob last year. So I have a feeling they'll probably move back in. Kind of a cool area. Bedroom up here. And then uh, like porch area. So this turned out, this turned out pretty cool, I think. Um, and then over here we have uh, like a hotel. I'll take you down there in just a minute because that was the everything that I built around this and this is like a, a cool hotel a lot of people are living in here right now and there's some cats living in here too so you've got bedrooms uh, you know like uh, hotel rooms up above and down below and then got a nice little area to sit in and then over here you have a kitchen area that's pretty cool some steaks on the grill and you got uh, some water boiling in pots there um, over here is a walk-in freezer cooler and uh, they got some food stored in here so this is kind of cool really actually turned out pretty cool I think Now this is what I built everything around. This is a underground haunted railroad. You can come down in here. And this actually goes on for quite a ways. Um, you see you have some like broken tracks back here and There's one area that's just covered in spider webs. Um, this is a little workshop area that's no longer used. You can see there's cobwebs up here, spider webs, and turned out pretty cool. Uh, you can come down this way. And there's tracks all over down here. And this was pretty, uh, last year this was pretty covered in uh, mobs. I mean, it just definitely was not a place you wanted to come down and hang out. I'm trying to remember where I put it, but there's a um, a portal down here as well. See, so yeah, I kind of kind of did this up. It's kind of cool, I think. Anyways, I like it. I can't find the portal right now. <laughs> I just saw it when I was uh, first logged in, so that's kind of kind of weird. But I know it's down here somewhere. So this is uh, this actually turned out pretty cool, I think, for last year. Just giving everybody a quick overview of some of the things that I've built in the two years that I've been doing this. Um, and then this here, hold on just a moment, was the mob's home that I built. 
Oh, I'll take you through the cemetery first. That actually turned out pretty cool, I think. I built a Grim Reaper there. Um, I'm going to be cremated and dumped, but if I were not, that would be my tombstone right there. I'm kind of down with that one. You got... Uh, Places here where there's caskets, some more tombstones. Tombstone there. So you can go back through my videos and actually watch me build this. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. And uh, in here we have. Uh, more so that turned pretty cool I think I think that that turned out pretty nice this is the uh, the mob area that I released Ooh, that scared me oh, wow that scared me As, as you can see, there's a huge portal up there. Um, go back this way, and there's a stairwell that goes up and around. Yeah, this is kind of cr oh that's the roof that's right there's the top of the portal kind of turned out cool you can watch me build this uh, in some of my other videos on YouTube um, up here you have just a little bit of a hangout I'm surprised there's nothing living in here, but of course it was full of mobs at one time. So, and then there's a, a library. It's actually pretty quiet up here for now. Surprising, usually it's pretty loud. Enchant room. There we go. Turned out pretty cool, I think. A little balcony out here. So what we're going to do now um, is we're going to go to another area. Um, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of some of the places um, that I have uh, I've built. Here, hold on. i got to make sure I'm going in the right direction. We're going to go this way. Make sure I'm going right. Hmm. Nope, I gotta. Here we go. I think it's this way, anyways. We'll find out. <clears throat> and part of the reason that I ended up having to put uh, put the numbers on there 
is because of the fact that I have so many different builds throughout here. Um, so the only way I could locate them was by uh, using the position And there it is right there. This is one of my favorite portals that I made. Uh, actually turned out pretty cool, I think. Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice. I have kind of a sore throat uh, this weekend. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, this this turned out pretty, pretty groovy, I think. Goes all the way around. Uh, little area down below and I just I really think this kind of turned out cool myself and again you can see me build this uh, in my YouTube videos so this this I really liked I really had fun building this as well so Okay, so the next place I'd like to take you, I think, um, we'll kind of go, let's go this way. Hold on just a moment. I do have a little hideaway, but I think we're going to skip that. Um, and hold on just a moment. Well, maybe not. Let's see here. So, see if I'm going, nope, I gotta go this way. There we go. So we're gonna go back over this way. See if I can find my hideaway. There's just so much land that can be built, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, Next big build I want to do is going to be uh, dedicated to the Knights Templar, which is one of my most favorite groups. Um, we're going to go back over my uh, by my Halloween. Uh, underground ra railroad see if I can come up on the wait a minute here nope I'm doing it okay should be coming up here shortly did I pass it let me go down a little bit. And I have it dubbed the hideaway because it really is like a hideaway. Got to be back here somewhere.
Well, this is crazy. It is pretty well hidden, though. And I may not be able to find it to show it to you, but if you watch my videos, you should be able to see it. And I'll look as I go through here. Well, this is nuts. Well, it's somewhere in here. I'm surprised I don't see it, but obviously I don't see it. So we're going to go on to um, I'm going in the right position. We've got to come across something soon. Well, it keeps going down the top number. I need it to go up. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we are going the wrong way. Sorry, folks. I really need to build a lot more in here. Maybe this is where I'm going to put my uh, medieval. in one of my other villages, which is a good sign. Okay, I know where we are now. Okay. So, uh, this here is a meditational area that I built. Um, and again, I built it right next to one of my villages. This turned out pretty good, too, I think. Um, and as you go through, you're going to see little signs like this. Uh, this is the Island of Silence welcomes you. And then there's a little place to meditate right here. Just sit and meditate. The way to meditation. This is pretty cool, I think. And here we have uh, Listen to the Silence. And uh, we have the colors for each of the chakras and what each of the chakras mean. Uh, Crown chakra, I understand. The third eye, I see. The throat chakra, I talk. The heart chakra, I love. Solar plexus, I do. 
uh, sacral chakra chakra is I feel and then the root chakra I am so this turned out pretty cool you can see the village from over here and uh, got somebody sleeping back there that's cool coming this way and you come into another meditational area oh he's sleeping there too the in the silence you will accept and understand and this turned out pretty cool it's got a little area and you could get over to the village from here little meditational area down here the wise man airs and smiles and you can do yoga down here or just sit and meditate got a little fountain back here Frogs seem to like this place. I'm not quite sure, but. So this turned out pretty cool, I think. Pretty groovy. Go back up this way. All these are interconnected, so it's kind of cool that they. Easy to walk through and meditate. Be simple, be yourself. Nice little simple tent that you can be simple in. Come this way, go up the stairs, and you have a maze that you can walk. In the silence, you receive all. And then over here you go up. Oops. Leave yourself and what is yours. Just a nice little platform that you can come out here and meditate on. And as I said, they're all kind of intermingled. Um, easy to get from one to another and just follow the uh, meditational path this one I did uh, around Halloween I remember doing this silence is the language of love I did this uh, this area during the winter time And this one is, in the silence, you hear the master. Nice little meditational, uh, little steam tent area. back over this way and this one is uh, in the silence you can open your being nice little area somebody's sleeping in here sorry dude I'm sorry I didn't mean to wake you leaving I did a little village area over here it's kind of cool um, at least I think it's kind of neat it was kind of weird when I was building it because there's a small village there 
when I started putting in the big village and the big gardens, they all kind of migrated. Um, so I had to go over and beef up, uh, kind of beef up that village. And this is, uh, turned out to be pretty cool. Kind of did this with the, the 60s in mind. And there's some really cool caves over this way. But, uh, In the silence, uh, silence is music and harmony, and of course, you have some uh, record players here. Hold on. That's kind of cool. There's a little bedroom, and then again down there are some pretty cool caves. over there as well. And I think, uh, let me see, because I think that you go out over here. You're back to where the tent was, and then there is a... Did I lose it? Ah, uh, it's right here. Go across the planks and up, and you're in a little uh, garden area. And this silence is truth and prayer. So you can sit here and just <clears throat> meditate and pray. Come back around this way. And there's one right over here for meditation. The walls are only in the mind. In the silence, they disappear. So I kind of did this all in uh, like glass. With absolutely no walls. That turned out pretty cool with the waterfalls coming down, I thought. And then... <clears throat> In the silence, you find strength. This is a nice little place to just sit and meditate. Nice little quiet place. In the silence, you will know God. This is supposed to be like a swinging bed. <laughs> Place you can meditate and sleep and relax. Sit by the fire. And then we come to the last meditational spot. Which is a nice little house. I don't see anybody living here though. <laughs> Um, hmm. I would think somebody would, but... And then, every journey begins near you. And of course, you're back to the village uh, that I originally built. and I went through um, and just started putting villages everywhere. And so, when I started putting some of my main builds, then I tried to connect them to the village. The villages that I had. This is my uh, kind of island resort area. We've got a library. And then these guys have been in that pool since I built this place. This is just a simple little home, mud home. You have a nice little place up here that you can grab a bite to eat. Little bar area. And the palm trees were pretty easy to build. Uh, I, <clears throat> if you want, you can go and 
look at the videos on this one. Little places to lay in the sun, under the umbrellas. And this is just like a uh, more of a luxurious guest house. Come and spend a weekend or whatever. Got a couple bedrooms. Then you go up here. Got a nice little pool area and you lay out in the sun. Goes over the waterfall. Come back here and you have uh, little grass huts like straw houses this way. They're just little little areas you can live in, stay in. Um, you come back this way and you have a little bit of a nicer village area. Villagers seem to like this area. Hmm. And then you have a garden area down here. And then under here you have um, other living quarters. Everybody standing on the furniture? Of course they are. So what's for dinner, dude? Hey. What's for dinner? You gonna make me dinner? I'm a little hungry. Not talking to me. Okay. Be that way. livestock and everybody seems to be happy here and uh, let's see here so this turned out pretty cool um here's one of the churches that i built it's starting to rain Turned out kind of cool. Offering plates as you come in the door. And a little area up here for wire. Turned out pretty cool, I think. Come back over here. We have a little German village dedicated to a friend of mine that lives in Germany. Kathy, this is for you. Little, just little homes and uh, it turned out okay. Just simple little homes. Um, and then over here you have some shops like a baked goods shop. And uh, here they make weapons and armor. And then this one is like a little uh, restaurant area. Now all these places have little uh, homes in the back so the, uh, the owners can actually live in their shops little eating patio come out here and enjoy the view we'll go this way real quick and then I'm gonna come back around 
This is my Cherry Land Village. I built this right when they came out with the cherry. <clears throat> we have a, a castle here. Turned out pretty cool. There's a few living quarters in here for the uh, staff. And then if you come up this way, you have a master bedroom or king of the castle. Kind of turned out cool. Go up above and just a little area to walk and guard. Over here we have a library. Turned out pretty cool. has some balconies here. Nice little balconies you can look. And uh, up here are bedroom areas. Where they can sleep. And then if you go up here one more, there's a little meeting room, reading room, This kind of turned out, I think, pretty cool. Of course, I used the cherry wood throughout. And then... This is part of the garden here. Turned out kind of cool. Waterfall over there. And this is my cherry tree house. Got little living quarters as you go around here. Actually turned out really cool. And then around here, I don't know if it looks like it's still running. Yep, there it is. A little train you can take. This is the larger of the uh, homes that are in the treehouse. You can see that as I build that in my uh, YouTube videos. And then we're going to come this way. And I kind of did, uh, in fact, I explained it in my videos that, you know, everything's interconnected. So we switch a little bit over here to a different kind of wood and we have some small village homes that I built. We still have some of the uh, cherry wood here but you can see it kind of starts changing a little bit. Cherry houses. And as it changes then the trees change and we go into more of an oak. And then we have a whole nother city. And again, it's uh, got like a fort here. Man, they like this place. I didn't know they liked it that much. You got little balconies or, or lookout points all the way around. Turned out pretty cool.
and then you have a small village over here and then um, these houses are actually built into the side of the mountains nice garden area as you can see they're built right into the side of the mountains and these turned out pretty cool I think take a peek in one of them kind of nice you can go upstairs to the bedroom There's a balcony out here. And all these little homes are kind of interconnected. So that's kind of cool. And then again, it shifts. This is kind of a cool thing right here. Just a little tower. But it's made of gold and emeralds and lapis. And then switches again to a different kind of wood. And a little bit of a different type of city. And again, we have kind of a tower where they can look out and use for protection or and this turned out, I think this turned out really cool. Kind of looks a little oriental. And then you have the houses down here. And this brings us to a, it's not quite like it, but uh, I try to do a Solomon, Solomon's Temple. Um, Solomon's Temple, and uh, so that's what we have here. I did use some pictures that I found of it, and... Little living quarters down here. Libraries. Baptismals. And, uh, look here you've got a couple different mines Solomon's uh, mines were not that close to his temple but uh, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have the mines there too and then another small village over here that turned out pretty cool At least I think so. We'll go back this way. Cool thing, it goes through my videos. I've got builds all over now start out with a very small area and I was very much afraid and I got lost a lot now things just seem to be a little bit more interconnected so it's not quite as scary for me there were times when I had to uh, actually 
go into the database and go back to a certain period so I could be back to where I needed to be because I'd get I'd just get lost but we'll go back this way Really proud of that tree house. Scope out some of my other uh, videos because uh, it will be uh, fun to see how I built a lot of this. Uh, this is a small little village here. Turned out pretty cool. Place down below that you can have some livestock and storage. And it turned out cool. Yes! Come across here. You have some... You know, when I first started building the villages, I was sticking to what I saw in Minecraft. And I thought, hmm, these people can live just about... I mean, we can build them some really nice homes. So that's what I started doing. I think Minecraft is a great game for kids. Uh, Simply because of the fact that you just, they use so much of their imagination. Okay. Come on. There we go. Little living area. Like a little tower here. Small little village here. Nice garden area. And then over here we have uh, a coffee shop. Jojo Bean Coffee. Place you can come in and get a snack and a cup of coffee. And this is a bar area over here. little uh, big screen TV back there and you can cook up some food put some stuff on the grill here <clears throat> grab a drink up here you can rent a room kind of nice And up above is an area where you can grill and party. Little patio out back and of course uh, some horses and gardens.
Here's a village market where you can come and purchase some items if you'd like. And down here they sell uh, pictures. And this here is the second house that I built for myself. Um, got a little farm area down here, a little barn area. Little garden area up here. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to... Kitchen area. And then here is a uh, nice family room, TV room. Bedroom up here with a bird in it. And then over here, got storage here, and a uh, little music entertainment room, library, and a uh, little enchantment room there. Comes back around to the storage area again. Got a little dorm. You can open it up and look out while you're reading. So this turned out pretty cool, I think. Again, you can check out the videos on that to see how I built it. This here is the first church I ever built. It's kind of cool. You got a lower level where the minister can live. Nice little crafting area over here, and around the corner here is a little desk area, enchantment room, and then bedroom over here. And up here we have the baptismal, and of course the main part of the church. The pulpit. Little upstairs there that you can go to and then uh, go up to where you can ring the uh, church bells. Over here is a greenhouse that I built. Whoa! Almost fell in the water. This is kind of cool. Cro crops are grown in there and then there's a place where uh, they can sleep and turned out pretty cool. This is one of the first portals that my grandson and I built. And this is one of the first villages that I built. You can see how simplistic it is compared to the other villages. This here I absolutely love. My grandson built most of this. I did the, uh, the entranceways and some of the outside, but he did pretty much everything here. And uh, have a little sign here. Love you, Tony Bear, Dee Dee. <clears throat> of course, there's a door there, and this just is really cool. Smaller one over here. I think this is cool, anyways. Uh, 
Um, this is a lighthouse I built. Well, I don't know why I keep falling. There we go. That goes to another village. Um, I think we're just... Because I've got so much other stuff I want to show you. So we may not go all the way down there. But this turned out pretty cool. It's just... Uh, no living quarters here. It's just a lighthouse. So you can climb to the top. And look out. Ring the bells. This here is, uh, I own the company, the Living Tree Company. I have my blog on it. Um, so this is my Tree of Life, which uh, is basically what my company stands for. We're going to come back to this in just a little bit. Anybody who's been watching me for a while will recognize this. Oh, I didn't mean to crack that egg. As the first home that I built. Uh, and again, I was so afraid to leave it because of the mobs that were outside that I just kept digging down into it rather than go out and try to uh, find supplies I needed so and I was down in here I found my first diamonds my gold um, turned out pretty cool and I'll just kind of quickly show you how far down this goes because it's pretty crazy See, it goes down pretty much forever, and that's what I dug. My grandson was over here helping me, and um, it's pretty crazy, I think. Comes all the way back over here. down in there around over here but I was I was just when I first started playing this game I was scared I was afraid to go outside I was gonna get my head eaten by a zombie or um, skeletons this comes all the way over here I'm missing oh I had that that way so it comes down in there back in here so yeah I dug out quite a bit of stuff and I found quite a bit of stuff as well down in there So this is actually pretty crazy when I think back on all of this and the first bedrooms I built there's a bunch of chickens over there Ooh. I don't remember opening the door another bedroom and uh, this has always been my bedroom Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Let's 
stored everything in here. That I felt was important. have a uh, crafting area and uh, enchantment room and my my grandson actually showed me how to use the enchantment room and half this stuff I had no clue so Tony Bear took the time to uh, teach me this comes up to just a little tower area and then over here we have uh, where it goes up and it can actually go outside. And there's a garden and pumpkin area. Um, have a tree house over here that I built. Turned out pretty cool. This over here was my son and grandson's home. That has a great big uh, cave in it. It's really cool. Um, over here, this is what I did for uh, Christmas last year and Thanksgiving. I built bags, bag ends. Um, They look like they're wearing uniforms. Little storage area here. Another little storage area. Yeah. The kitchen area. Turned out kind of cool. And then this is a garden area. Turned out neat. On this end you have the bedrooms. Another little garden area and then uh, where he actually did his writing, the little area that he did his writing in. So I found a blueprint to the house and so I, I know it's a little larger than what it was, but um, we have the green dragon over here. A little nice little bar you can relax in. And actually on the green dragon, uh, something I didn't know in the movie, but there are little uh, uh, sleeping areas around the sides. Uh, so I went ahead and put those in. And then over here is the party area where they had the, uh, the beer tents set up and everything. I put a little relaxation area up here, which wasn't really in the show, but and then I put these uh, little towers all the way around, little lookout towers. You can see kind of everywhere. This is my son's and grandson's home right there. So again, it's all kind of interconnected. Um, I was going to see if I could find... Uh, 
I might be able to. I think it's over this way. Another little village. This is actually a real cool little village. I used to get lo lost trying to find this village a lot, but it goes down under. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but let me see. I think we need to follow these lights here. we go and uh, if you know Lord of the Rings you might recognize this a little bit as uh, Rivendell um, my version anyways I mean I couldn't exactly build it into a mountain but I had the waterfalls and some really cool towers and some living areas towers turned out pretty cool This turned out nice. Okay, so this isn't part of the uh, Lord of the Rings, but I just had an idea and I wanted to do it. So I took this area over here. And actually walk up the stairs. cave in there. I went ahead and left it. thought that was kind of cool. Come under here and up this way. And I have A sword going through the top of a dragon's head. And I think this turned out pretty cool too. Um, there's a door over here. You can go in. There's a couple of enchantment rooms. And then... Uh, yeah, actually can go out into the mouth. Kind of looks like a tongue. Taste buds, whatnot, and teeth. And then there's a uh, portal right there. It's kind of cool. There's one bed in here. Go up the stairs over here to get to it. Again, you can find this build by going through my videos. And then, of course, the portal comes out the top. And then it looks like a sword stuck in there. 
So that's kind of cool. I, I kind of was happy with the way that turned out. So we're going to go back this way now because I've got about 30 more minutes. Well, this just doesn't want to go down. Oh, there we go. There's some lights. I think I can follow those. There's just so many cool places still around that you can build. That's the neatest thing about Minecraft is the terrain and, you know, there's all these underground caves and mountains. There's that village again. I did build a few other little places that, uh, that they could stay. Um, so we're back here to my original home. And then what I did not realize, there's a couple villages up that way, but we're not, is if you, turn this way and go straight out this way. sure it's this way anyway. Uh, you come right into the Chicago build, which is what I'm working on now. Um, got quite a bit more to do. Um, I had a challenge to do O Block, uh, which is the most dangerous neighborhood area in Chicago. Um, Parkway Gardens, it was originally uh, where uh, Michelle Obama uh, spent her youth. And uh, so that's what I've got going on here is that right there is O Block. Here I've got an apartment building. Turned out pretty cool. Little rooftop with a hot tub and then showers, bathrooms, and little apartments. So that turned out kind of nice. Uh, we have some row houses over here. bathrooms 
This is a lake house. Turned out pretty cool. Garden area. This here is where I'm going to be building the mob home this year. And when I release them, I'll release them in here. <clears throat> They'll just... Uh, I got some cool ideas to do for this. We still have a lot to build. I've got a coffee shop I want to put in, uh, an Italian restaurant. Um, I'd like to see if I could put in pops and champagne. I did do a pizza hut. <laughs> Long story on that one. But uh, right now I'm working. Oh, oh here, let's, let's go this way first. We have the Botanic Gardens which actually is one of my favorite places in Chicago. Uh, there is a learning center. So I went ahead and put in the learning center. And that turned actually turned out pretty cool, I think. little classrooms like where they can give demonstrations or do some educational studies um, little hands-on area on both ends you go upstairs and you have some additional classrooms and this is just a, a lookout over a patio Um, I did put a little living quarters down here, which really wasn't in the diagram that I was using. I think I can get down there. I used to be able to. Yeah, there we go. So there is a little living quarters down here for people who are caretakers of this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You can come out this way, and there is a waterfall area, which is very cool. I had a portal, so I just took it all the way through so that you can see it on both sides. Turned out pretty cool. Kind of neat. All these little areas to explore. A little living area. Bedrooms in here. Kitchen area over there. And then another little living area in here. These poor guys are just stuck there because I don't think they can figure out how to get through the water. Oh well. Over here you have the wedding area. So you can perform ceremonies. And uh, this is a little area that they actually have where they explain different wildlife here. Um, you can sit up in the, uh, in the bleachers there. And then you can actually, they have like some living specimens and stuff. You can walk out. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. This is Bird Island.
One big birdhouse there. And then we have a little garden area here. Um, there's a little reception area for the wedding there and a little place right out there that you can like take pictures over this way is a little uh, Japanese oriental type place they do have that there by the way um, little bridge to get to it and but he seems to be taking their bath and then little areas that you can sit at well, those those probably wouldn't be very comfortable seats but it's And then you come off of this place um, and you go over to the lightscape. They have uh, especially during the holiday season. Turned out pretty cool. little bridge going over to <coughs> what is the uh, fruit and vegetable area Put up a little pumpkin display with some masks yeah. they actually have this in this particular structure at the botanic gardens and then I put a little house here you know, just to try to incorporate the villagers into the area. Not that they have houses in there, but... A little sitting area, a little fountain area. <clears throat> a little garden area inside and out. In the house and then above I put another living area enchantment room bedroom and then I did put a house here they don't have that but I thought mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do this so there's a house here with a really nice kitchen area, bedrooms, and then over here is uh, an enchantment area. <coughs> this goes out to a back patio. I put in this very large greenhouse. I did put bedrooms over here and then a kitchen area over here. Um, since, you know, showing off all the different plant forms and that, I did an area like this. Turned out pretty cool. Yeah. 
And these guys have been in here since I built this thing. Alrighty then. We're just sitting there chatting and talking. This is where it gets kind of cool. Because there is some underground caves that I uh, put in. I mean, you can seriously get lost down in here, but it's it's really pretty cool. <clears throat> and this actually goes over to, let me get out of here. I can take you in the other way. You go over this way. Right there. <clears throat> this really goes down pretty far. Kind of cool, it goes back over into here. So that's cool. This actually turned out pretty cool, I think. There's another really cool area too. If you watch my videos, you'll be able to find it. it goes to a completely different area of the uh, of this other underground might even be over this way more but it's cool this whole place is like really I think it's cool anyways I'd so totally come and visit this place, <laughs> even though it's not in the garden area that they have. I would. <clears throat> Little caretaker's cottage over here. With the garden area. Bedrooms on the ends. Really cool. Kitchen area. <clears throat> so. And this is what I'm working on now, which I'm going to have to come back to this week. It is supposed to be uh, the Chicago Theater. Of course, none of these are located where, they're, where they are because I'm just using a much smaller area. Chicago PD, sep uh, September 25th, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wait a minute, hold on. Make sure you uh, peep it out. And
I wish I could make the cur curly cues like on that, uh, but uh, I've tried and it just doesn't look the same. Uh, like I said, I still have um, quite a bit to do, and I do want to try to build the Chicago PD station that they use on uh, the show Chicago PD, along with uh, trying to do the firehouse. I don't know if I'll be able to or not. We're going to give it our best shot. So this is where we're going to pick up next time. Uh, really start knocking this out this week. Um, and get ready for the Halloween season. Right around the corner, we have the Burr months. Uh, September, October, November, December. So if you're living in the Midwest, that means much colder temperatures. Um, see if I can kind of get a shot of... And I can't really see the writing on that. And I kind of wanted the writing. So uh, that's where we're going to leave tonight. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your uh, Friday night. Uh, I won't be back until maybe Sunday night. I'll be peeping back in here and see if we can get some more of this uh, theater done. Um, see where that takes us. And then, like I said, I've got a few other things. Um, I'm putting a special post up on my blog site, The Living Tree Company. Please jump over there and read it. It is about my Chicago build and why Chicago means so much to me. So... Um, If you get a chance, then uh, peep that out. Um, I'd like to say a special good night to my grandson, Tony Bear. I love you and I miss you. And uh, anyways, if you're not back here, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Go ahead and... Wait a minute, I gotta... I'm going to save this. I am going to come up with a different outfit in honor of some of my friends over in the Philippines. Uh, Emerald Warriors. Uh, <laughs> see if we can come up with a little bit of something different. Uh, as far as my uh, helmet and uh, armor and gear. I had a heck of a time getting in here today. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. This seems to be taking quite a bit of time. So anyways, I will uh, sign off now. And God bless. Stay safe. Have a wonderful weekend. Joe Marie signing off. I'll see you very soon. Again, jump over to YouTube. Jump over to my Living Tree Company uh, blog. Check that out. I'll be posting that very shortly here. Talk to you soon. God bless. <laughs>